In this video, I'm going to show you a trick to get to the year two trigger identities. So I recognize that a lot of my students, they remember the year one identities, but not the year two ones. So there is a trick. Actually, if you just divide each individual term by sine squared and each individual term by cos squared, you'll get to either or expression. So for this first one, if we divide everything on both sides of the expression by cos squared theta, cos squared over cos squared is equal to one. Sine squared over cos squared, well, we know that sine over cos is equal to tan. In that case, so I'm just going to write that out very quickly. Sine squared over cos squared is equal to tan squared. So we can write 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to 1 divided by cos squared theta, which would be sec squared theta. And that's this expression that's already written out on the right side. If, however, you divided each individual term by sine squared theta, you'd actually end up at the other expression. That's what you should actually remember, rem dividing by cos squared and dividing by sine squared, because remembering these whole expressions is quite a handful. So cos squared over sine squared, well, you might have realized that's like the reciprocal of tan theta all squared. So we can write that as 1 over tan squared theta or cot squared theta. Um, sine squared over sine squared is just going to be 1. And then 1 divided by sine squared is going to be cosec squared theta. And that's everything for this question. Be sure to leave a like if the video did help and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching. watching. I hope this video helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries, be sure to visit my website, www.excelleneducation.co.uk. It's on the first link in the description too.